Hello, friends and enemies. It's me, V. And um, I'm going to be talking about some things that went on. Oh, my hip, my hip, my hip, my hip hurts. Oh, my hip hurts. What am I going to be talking about? I'm glad you asked. I am going to be talking about what else? Twitter. There were two things that went up recently that I just wanted to go over. Uh, one was the Rage Quit anniversary. And number two was what would you tell your younger self? This is going to be a doozy because uh, the younger self is going to end up talking about my rage quit, my one and only rage quit. So let's begin. Dear younger self, instead of saying yes to a, to jobs that essentially did not give a shit about you or your health or well-being, you should say yes to your friends and to networking with your classmates and going to your, your classes and everything more on your classes and getting that shit tip top to help you in your career versus retail jobs that added nothing. And, uh, I think a two, two places where that really occurred. Um, when I worked at target and when I worked at bath body works, so we're going to, I never, I will say I never rage quit on Target. I didn't do that. Now, Bath and Body Works, oh, that was a rage quit. This is how it happened. It was January of 2011. I graduated December of 2010. And I told the new store manager, hey, I'm available to work. We're going to call her. I got to think of a fake name. I got to think of a fake name. Fuck it, Brooke. I told Brooke, hey, Brooke, I'm able to work. In, you know, I'm free to work. She said, oh, really? I said, yeah, I graduated college. I'm able to work all these hours, blah, blah, blah. And typically what would happen during January is time, you know, as time as things had dried up from months and years before. I still would work 12 to 32 hours. No, actually, it was more 30. It was more 24 to 32 hours. As soon as I told her that she then started to cut my hours and we were on the third week. Well, yeah, we were on the third week of January and I realized, hey, I told her I had graduated before Christmas. You know, I was like, hey, graduated. I can take more hours, blah, blah, blah. And that's when my hours started to get cut, to be honest. So it had been going on for quite quite a while. And I assumed you just took it. That all changed though, when the supervisor who told who told me and my coworkers, oh, I'm a man's woman. Uh, cause I don't know why girls are so bitchy. Here's a here, here's the thing for you guys. If a bitch says I am a girl, I am a guy's girl, or women are bitchy, women are this, that, and the other. She is the main, she is the factor. She is the one that is bitchy, that is two-faced, and she she will willingly sell out other women to prove herself to men. I don't know why, but Mel Melanie was that. Now, Melanie had faced, had, 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 again, this is 2010. No, no, this is 20, yeah, this is 2011. So she had, fin- she had uh, friended me and a couple other people on Facebook. Now, I didn't post anything about the job, at least not recently. I, I posted something in 2009 about the job, but didn't think anything of it. Uh, they had us go in and sign this people piece of paper saying, we will not talk about, we will not talk b- badly about Bath and Body Works. We all signed it, said, okay, cool. Melanie found a post from before one of my coworkers had written this piece of paper and sent and told the manager, the manager, store manager, Brooke, talked to this woman who I will call Heather and was like, Heather, don't put anything else. And she's like, this is from before. This is like a year before you weren't even involved. Okay, fine. Whatever. Heather, uh, Heather came into work on a, on a Sunday. They worked her, they worked her ass off that entire day. Then expected her to come in at 8 a.m. Which would be fine, except for the fact that she worked from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. So she did an overnight, then had to come back in. 
Two hours in, they said, we're firing you. Heather said, are you fucking kidding me? She's like, okay, fine, whatever. She leaves. She's pissed. And I remember talking to this woman, Tiffany. And Tiffany's like, oh, I changed my schedule. And this woman, Brooke has me scheduled for the time, blah, blah, blah. So I said, I'll pick up your hours because I need hours. So I, we, I picked up her hours and then Brooke tells me, oh yeah, you don't need to come in that day. And that was the day that Tiffany had given to me because she said, you know, I talked to Brooke. Brooke purposely scheduled me for a day. I don't understand. So I talked to Tiffany. I said, I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to talk to my mom. And I talked to my mom and my mom said, yeah, they're looking probably to fire Tiffany. And they're probably looking for a reason to fire you too, because if what you said is going on, add to the fact that they have your hour, uh, your hours have been cut. Yeah, they're probably going to fire you. Now, I have been, been at Bath and Body Works for four years. Let's see, 2000, no, 2007 to two, 2007 to, okay, it was three years. It was three years going on four because Mother's Day was going to be my four year anniversary. <sighs> had to take a had to take a brief had to take a deep breath in cuz I kind of got a little heated right then and there. So I said I said to Tiffany, "I think they are going to fire you. You should have up a piece of paper, you know, you should have up something that says I quit effective immediately, blah blah blah." She's like, you're right. I'm going to do it. So she had her signed up. I had mine signed up because I said, if you go, Tiffany, I'm going because there's nobody else left. The only other people that were left were all the new people. Brooke had managed to get rid of every single person and had new people come in. I trained an 18 year old on supervisory stuff that I was doing or that I knew I wasn't, I wasn't a supervisor, but they had taught me how to do this stuff, still paying me under what my original pay was, mind you. And they decided we're making that 18 year old a supervisor. You mean to tell me that the, the 18 year old that just got out of high school that I trained for three months, I trained her. She's now going to be ahead of me. Really Brooke. But whatever. So that day came. I think, what was it? Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, it came. I went into work. I was working and everything. And then I saw Tiffany come in. Tiffany, I said, hey, Tiffany. She's like, I got my letter. I'm like, I got mine too. And you have to realize, now this has been building. I sprained my ankle. They made me come in to work because we're down people. I was on crutches. The supervisor at that time said, here's a Swiffer, go swiffle the ceiling. Well, the ceiling. I was laughing as I'm hobbling around on my crutches trying to swif swiffle it. Near tears. Okay, fine, be that way. So I'm getting a little upset because I'm thinking about all, all the things that this place has done to me. The fact that my hours were cut, the fact that I couldn't get my original pay, so I had to take a pay cut because I did study abroad because the system kicks you out if you're not active after three months, which I didn't know before I left. All these things were just coming to a head. I answer the phone, I say, Bath and Body Works, Veronica speaking, and it's Melanie. She asked to speak to Brooke. I said, okay. I tell Brooke, Brooke takes it in the back. Then Brooke talks to Tiffany and I'm, I'm cashiering. And then I look at Tiffany. I say, what's going on? She's like, I just been fired. And I was like, for real? She's like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm done. I then took off my apron. I had taken down all the little things that I had going for me. And when I t tell you I had these little things going for me, these were appreciation cards that the, um, that the customers or guests wrote for me saying, oh, thank you for doing such a great job. They gave me a little bottle of, of hand lotion. I, I grabbed that. I said, clock me out, clock me out right now. I'm done. I gave them my sheet. I said, I quit and I left. Right after I said I quit, I leave. I get a phone call from my mom telling me that another job has just 
seen my has seen my application and they wish to talk to me. Now, here's the thing I will tell you as a past HR person. Um, the best times for me for finding jobs have always been December. What I mean is you start applying in December. January, February comes around. They'll start looking for people. They'll look at the December people and go, huh, let's go look into that person. And that is how I got my next job. That was $12 an hour plus tips, which was really cool. Now, I later reported Brooke and Melanie to the district store manager named Andrea. I'm saying Andrea's name because she called me on her se- on my cell phone, not the house number that I had listed as my preference of calling. And then she was like, oh, hi, I'm calling for Veronica. I said, this is her. She then became very rude and yelled at me about all the issues that I had and was like, why are you yelling or talking bad about this place and blah, blah, blah. And I just thought to myself, like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You really are going to bat for your friend. I already quit the fucking job and you just want to twist the knife even further in, you fucking cunt. And as a result, I put a ban on Bath and Body Works products and I didn't go back there until very recently. Actually, this year to get a wallflower because my apartment fucking stinks as it's a studio apartment and any food that I cook does swift around in terms of smell. Because as you can tell, this is this is the entire this is the entire room. This is where I eat, this is where I sleep, this is where I cook. So that's what happened. That, that's my issue or my only rage quit with Bath and Body Works. And um when I did quit them, you have to realize I had a three hundred dollar student loan that was going to come out in I believe February. It was gonna be after I graduated. And um, Bath and Body Works wasn't going to cut it. Plus, I had to pay my mom rent. So that was another thing of, well, how am I going to make it work, work Work with Bath and Body Works? And thankfully, I found a way to make it work by going to a different job. So if you are interested in looking for another job, I would say look now and apply. A lot of times the jobs aren't going to talk to you until the usually January, February. That's when they all look at the that's when they all look at the applications and go, oh, huh, that's interesting. Let me go talk to that person, blah, 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 see where, where they're going to. Another time, if I'm looking at the fall, I would say, if you're looking for seasonal work, I would say to do that June, July, maybe January, February, March, and April, May, May. No, I would say April, May, because then that way they can look and try to get you in. Because then June, July, August, September, they have you for that bit. And then, you know, going further, who knows? But yeah, that was my only rage quit. All of my other jobs, I gave my two weeks and I worked it out and I was nice and calm. But Bath and Body Works broke me that time. That was the one and only. And did I use them for references? Uh, no, did not use them for references. I, I included them in some of my job applications later on, but it's been 10 years, so I don't really need them anymore. I mean, I started them in 2009, 2010, but it's going to be 2000, it's going to be 11 years since Bath and Body Works, well, going on 11 years, but that's neither here nor there. In fact, next year, January, I, I I don't even use them because right now I'm in my actual career. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm in my career. I don't fucking need to use them. If anything, I use the last three jobs that I had. Spectrum Sports, Target, that sort of stuff. But anyway, that's my story. I'll talk to you guys later. As always, fuck Tom Brady.